We've come a long way from when Galileo first turned his telescope to the stars back in 1609. In 2022, NASA deployed the most advanced telescope to ever exist. It's called the James Webb Space Telescope, and it's designed to let us look back 13 billion years in the past. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. The James Webb Telescope launched on December 25th, 2021, and it took one month to make its one million mile trip to its new home, L2. So when someone asks you, how far would you go for science? The correct answer is one million miles. L2 is the second Sun-Earth Lagrange point, or a gravitationally stable location in space. This specific spot will allow the telescope to stay in line with Earth as it orbits the sun. But this is no normal telescope. It's the most powerful space telescope ever, and it took 30 years to build it. It's as tall as a three-story building and as long as a tennis court. But that's not the coolest part. The telescope's mirrors have a thin layer of gold that helps the mirrors reflect infrared light. Sorry for people with silver tier telescopes. Webb wins again. That infrared light is invisible to the human eye, but not to the telescope which uses its infrared cameras to see through space dust. This lets it see the stars and planets inside those dust clouds clearer than ever before. But let's reflect for a moment on the mirrors. Telescopes need big mirrors to see more details. So Webb obviously has a giant heavy mirror that's comprised of 18 smaller mirrors that fit together to form a honeycomb-like shape. It also has a smaller, cuter secondary mirror that reflects the light from the telescope down to the actual sensor. So between all the mirrors, if you broke the James Webb telescope, you would have 133 years of bad luck. So try not to do that. So how were they able to get something so big up into space? Well, scientists fit the telescope inside the rocket by creating an origami style fold for the telescope that took two weeks to un-origami itself. It'd be cool if it looked like a paper swan, but NASA probably just made it functional. So what's one thing you do when you get to space? Take a selfie, of course. Here it is, checking to see that the honeycomb mirrors are aligned correctly. Even though the Webb telescope is a star to me, the real purpose isn't selfies, but pictures of the universe. One of the most remarkable early photos from the James Webb telescope was this deep field photo where the telescope looked at the same tiny spot in the sky for 12 hours. To get an idea of how tiny the spot is, imagine holding up a single little grain of sand at arm's length so it's itty bitty. There are only a few stars in the deep field photo. Almost every dot is an entire galaxy. So we're looking at literally thousands of galaxies, each with many billions of stars, many billions of light years away from each other. Part of what makes this incredible deep field photo possible is in the middle of the image, a super massive cluster of galaxies called SMAC 0723. Multiple galaxies filled with black holes and planets and hundreds of billions of stars means that this cluster has a lot of mass, like a lot of mass. And more mass means more gravity. And that gravity can be used for something called gravitational lensing. You see, gravity doesn't just pull on things like planets and asteroids. It warps everything around it, even light. With something as massive as this galaxy cluster, gravity can bend light like a giant super-powered natural lens, magnifying light from the other side of the cluster and giving us a peek at galaxies from the early days of the universe. These ancient galaxies can tell us about what the universe looked like in the first billion years time. And the Webb Telescope may have already captured the oldest galaxy ever seen, born only 300 million years after the Big Bang. Using spectroscopy, the telescope should be able to tell us what elements provided the building blocks of the early universe and give us insight into how those early galaxies formed. We'll also get our closest views ever of stars being born and even dying. But we're not just studying galaxies. The Webb Telescope is also searching for extraterrestrial life. Scientists plan on studying exoplanets right in our own Milky Way, scanning the atmosphere to see if there are any Earth-like planets that could harbor life. We've already seen so much in the short amount of time it's been in space 
And this is just the beginning. I can't wait to see what else they discover in the next few years. Could you imagine discovering an Earth-like planet full of life? I wonder if there'd be an alien version of me there, talking about their version of the Webb telescope. If you're out there, Space Miranda, I want you to know I will destroy you. There's only room for one of us in this vast, 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 vast universe. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.